I want to talk about Julius Novo Chrono, the Wizard King. The 28th Wizard King to be precise. As of right now, Julius Novo Chrono is a child, or at least stuck in a child's body. So we're going to discuss this. Is he going to go back to normal? Is he going to stay like this? Like, what's going to happen? First of all, I'm the one Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> So Julius used all the remaining time magic he had left in order to keep himself alive and preserve himself and this is the result of that. He is now a kid with one page in his grimoire. His grimoire used to be almost infinite, it was like an infinite loop. It was just constantly rotating pages, it had no cover and no ending. It was a very interesting grimoire. Now he has but a single page and he's very young. So now my question is, is he gonna get back to normal or is he gonna have to regrow his life, like basically live his life again? Because Julius is a very strong character. So are we going to see him anytime soon at his full potential? Because right now he's literally, in, like physically he's 13 even though he's technically supposed to be 42. So there's two ways I see this going. Either he's 13 and he's going to have to redo his life basically. He's going to have to grow up properly. Just do everything he did again just to get back to where he was. Or, or he's going to have to kill people. And what do I mean by that? Julius steals time from other people and he stores it for himself. That's how Julius ended up saving all this time. Every time, all the time that Julius uses, all the time magic that Julius uses, it's other people's life, okay? It's other people's time that he's stolen. And he's even stated this in the chapter uh, when he was versing Pachi. I wish they did dive in more into this because I wanted to understand it and I want to see why this is like the case, why this is happening. But we really have to, uh, we have to speculate from that line he's given us. So the time he steals from others, okay? Time, obviously, how much time you have in your life, okay? So Julius steals that from other people, probably people that attack Clover Kingdom. Does that necessarily make Julius a bad person? Not really. He's protecting his kingdom. He's a magic knight. He's just doing what he got to do. But will Julius do that now? I'm not sure. There really hasn't been given an opportunity for Julius to go out and start taking people's time. So maybe if he starts gathering other people's time, maybe some bad people, he will slowly but surely get to back where he was. That's where I, that's how I view this. Um, I've heard some people say, oh no, he's going to have to redo everything and he's going to be out of the series. This is him for now and we're ever going to see Julius back to normal again. Uh... I don't know that's going to take... I want. I do want to see personally Julius back. And I want to see... Because Julius was powerful, man. Like, that's just me. Julius was my favorite character in Black Clover. Like, I really love that character. He was really interesting to me. He wasn't annoying. He was a magic nerd. You know, he, he was really, rel like, relatable to us. Or to me. He studied magic. He loved magic. And he became the Wizard King to protect his people. What more do you want from a character? So, yeah. I want to know how you guys think uh, Julius' situation is going to be resolved. Is he going to have to regrow his life? Like, by regrow, I just mean, like, age again, like, normally. Uh, is he going to have to, like, as I said, take people's time, stay, store it for himself, and then he will get back to where he was? Because time magic is very interesting. I do hope you keep about the doubles into it more. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my content. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.